I started with put away all the groceries and I began to make the mess. <laughs> I had to tidy up my kitchen a little bit because I wanted to make some dinner and I made some chicken soup and I made some dumplings. I love dumplings and plus there's another good side of it. I don't have to keep that many kind of noodles at home because I can just make them from eggs and flour so it's always given in my pantry and I also made some potato pancakes and I decorated them with some carrots and salad and the carrots are was cut out with a cookie cutter so I just sliced them very thin and I just cut out the shape that I want on this pancake. After shredding the potatoes I squeeze out the juice out of the potato and then I add some salt, one egg and as much as of a gluten free flour that makes kind of a paste texture. This is another favorite that we like so much, it's a dairy free cheese and I use gelatin and zucchini, salt, nutritional yeast but this is a recipe that I love so much because it creates pretty much this creamy cheese texture but without eating a dairy. When I have a messy kitchen, I like to start on this side of the countertop because this is the farthest from the sink. So I'm gathering all the dishes nearby the sink and start to clean the countertop. I like to clean my cooktop with uh, lots of dish soap, so first I just add some cleaning solution, that's an all-purpose cleaner, I got some dish soap in there, but additionally I like to put a lot of dish soap on it, and as you can tell I had to do this a couple of times to take it off because it was very greasy, so I had to scrub a lot, and even after that I felt it wasn't clean enough, so I used the magic eraser and that can take to the other level it can take off any kind of grease and something that is burned on i just really love this sponge for special occasions like that and that made that really squeaky clean The next area to clean is where all the clean dishes will go. So here's a little feedback to you guys if you are about to remodel your kitchen I love this countertop very much but boy that is really sensitive to anything like if I put a carrot on it um, just give one minute to it and it will stain it so 
uh, Mr. Clean uh, Magic Eraser helps out so much with that so I can remove those stains but it's definitely something I have to maintain so if you don't like to clean that much the countertop keep in mind this white one is very sensitive to stains made a kitchen tour on my other channel I will link the video down below for you guys but I went into details what I have and what I kept and the, here's the thing I have this one bowl and I use this several times a day and even though I have to clean it often but the end of the day I only have one bowl to clean because it's not procrastinated it's not like I can pull out another one I need to clean it if I want to use it so that way it's easier to manage the dirty dishes For years I always cooked the beets in the water and it was extremely messy. It was very messy to take off the skin and it just lost some nutrition in the water. So now I started to bake them in the oven and guys it tastes so much better and after it's cold it's so much easier to peel and it's not as messy. So when I'm trying to peel the beets when it's raw and then I, I would put them into the water it makes it extremely messy and the strong color goes everywhere but that way I don't have to deal with that. Okay guys, I'm so excited to share this with you. I always used lemon peel and baking soda on the sink, but now I got some great footage that where I can share it with you. Just check this out. Look at the dirt there that I couldn't scrub otherwise. And just a little bit of a lemon peel and just a little bit of a baking soda. Look at this, how clean it makes it. It's like swept away all the dirt. Okay, my latest update on this rag. I still love this so much. Guys, it doesn't stink. It doesn't collect any spots on it. It's, I don't know how they did it with this charcoal infusion, but this one is really amazing how it works. It absorbs so much water and it just doesn't get that funky smell. And I exclusively use just only this one rag. It's in my Amazon store. If you wonder, that's the charcoal infused. If you ever wondered where we make the smoothie, that would be that corner. <laughs> I got some pretty nice green spots, some over there too. <laughs> Cleaning the table, vacuuming the floor in the kitchen, that is something that requires 
very often to do because I just cook a lot, we like to eat, so we make a lot of crumbs. Okay, that was a hat that was not supposed to go into the drying machine, <laughs> but eventually it made it and it made a very funny shape. <laughs> I love quiet nights like this. My husband was working on the computer so we talked a little bit. My older one was taking a shower and my younger one started to helping me with the laundry. One last thing is I like to put out some frozen meat to defrost by the morning. Oh my god! <laughs> 